Hello everyone, it is our reverse and welcome to today's news flash. In this video I'll bring you the latest updates on events in Knights and Dragons and as always I'll go through them briefly and give you guys my thoughts and opinions about the events. So first of all, I'm actually really curious and that's gonna be the question of the video like right off the bat. Do you guys like these flash episodes? Because if you guys don't like the news flashes, I'm gonna make sure that I'll still bring you guys the events but in different types of episodes instead of bringing them all together in just one pile of an episode which is going to be the news flash. I really am curious about that because I kind of noticed that like other types of videos do get more recognition or more view time on my channel and I kind of feel if I just blend everything in that would be a little bit smarter but if you guys do like these episodes in which I'm bringing you guys the news flash then make sure to let me know because that way I'll continue to bring these to you guys every single Friday. Anyway, we're gonna be moving on with the events of this week because there's actually quite a few events to cover this time around and I'll just cover the ones that we haven't really covered so far, starting off with the Celestial Dragons. Now, I truthfully have no idea what to expect about this. I do already know that the epic bosses look really amazing, just look at the, like, the way they look. There are gonna be four of them, pretty obviously. I do see some fire elements, some spirit elements, I also think I see some water, so that's going to be really cool. I'm really looking forward towards it, and I'm going to be covering this a little bit more once the rewards actually get well known and all the good stuff. Next event is the Fusion Fighter Blitz Guild Wars, going to start pretty soon on the 12th of July, which is Saturday once again. Then we have a gem package still ongoing until the 14th of July, 20% off whenever you're buying a gem pack. Gem Pendants Day, haven't been talking about this before, it's gonna end tomorrow. Then after that, Call to Arms, this is an event in which whenever you're buying a package, you're gonna be having a chance of gifting away a Cloud Range Blade Mill, which in my opinion isn't a good epic at all. Then, Attacking with Haste, Hastur, we already spoken like for majority of the time about him, I'm gonna give him a little bit more screen time to show you guys my update and everything. And then, last but not least, Royal Rumble, which is actually the weekly arena tournament. Now, um, I have a screenshot of the results. I'm not sure if I'm going to show you guys right now. Anyway, it was, a little, it was less points than I expected. A little bit less than 1 million points for the winner down there. But we're going to be taking a look at the rewards of this week. Because this week around, we have the Druidic Plate Mill. I already mentioned before in my analyzation episode about Hastur is that you kind of can compare it to the little brother of the Druidic Blade Mill where the armor of Hastur, the Hastur's vesture, vesture of Hastur, I have no idea, is a little bit weaker than the Druidic Blade Mill. Druidic Blade Mill, I have no idea if people are going to go for this, but this armor is still very wanted for the elements because the elements are really great. Talking about spirit alongside with earth makes for a very nice defensive combination. In general, I just believe that whenever someone is fusing this armor, they're not going to be disappointed disappointed with this armor at all. Especially the plus version is absolutely astonishing, has more attack than defense, but the regular version is just very well balanced. I really like the way this one looks. I also want to get my hands on this one, although I'm not entirely sure because I'm also going for Hastur. Gonna be moving on to the legendary. The first legendary is the raid skill armor. Very great choice. Really like this one a lot because this armor in particular has a special meaning towards knights and dragons. This as a matter of fact was the first armor that defeated or was better than an epic in the same elements and that was the moon type blade mill. And it's really cool to see that this one's actually in up here. It's a really strong arm. I really like this one. Actually used it myself. Very nice move from Greed to actually place this one in. Although it's a little bit outdated right now. It's like three to it's actually like four to five months old right now. Um, it actually started on the on the end of February, somewhere near the 20th. I believe and I'm not entirely sure about the exact dates but that's what I have on top of my mind and um, this arm is really nice especially the plus version the regular version is just something I would say just use it to fuse it because otherwise it's not really going to work out in your lineup all that greatly uh, you're gonna be capable of getting the raid skill armor from rank 4 to 100 and then the second legendary this time around is the Aegis of the Fallen once again the Aegis, the Aegis of the Fallen is actually well I, I, I like the I like the way it looks but that's the only good side towards this armor. This armor is pretty outdated. It's from last year. I would only use it to fuse it. Or if you like the looks, then I can understand that you should definitely keep it. But other than that, it's just 
I don't know. It, it is just a regular legendary that you want to fuse away in order to get something else. The elements of these ones is actually fire alongside with spirit. So a lot of with spirit is being done water and spirit, earth and spirit, and this time around fire and spirit. Very nice stuff. There's also a weekly quest line. Make sure you finish it off so that way you actually get some gems in the meantime. It's really great to actually get your Everest rewarded and all that good stuff. And that's the arena for this week. We're going to be moving on with the next event. And the next event is actually the fusion fighters blitz guild war let's take a look here so the fusion fighter blitz guild war for some reason is not loading up because the org raid is still in here well the only thing i can say to you guys i suppose is wow Okay, the only thing I suppose I can tell you guys is that this one is going to start tomorrow on Saturday. One thing that really strikes my curiosity is to see what the top skills will be doing. As always, make sure to subscribe to my channel to stay updated. My guild is going for top 250. It's going to be really crazy and great to see, but otherwise also very excited. So that being said, we're going to be moving on towards the gem sale we're gonna be combining that with another event which is called to arms now as i already mentioned before i really necessarily don't think it's worth it always make sure and i'm gonna keep repeating this time after time uh even though like because sometimes new people join in the channel to also only buy jam packages whenever there's a 30% sale or a 40% sale. I necessarily don't feel that a 20% sale it really is worth it. I think it's a waste of money in the end. And other than that, also there's this event called Jam Pendants. And Jam Pendants, I suppose Crypted War Gear Plus is absolutely a great phenomenal armor. The only downside to it is that you We'll probably get this event once again pretty soon in a different variation with a different type of armor that's just a little bit better than, pre than the previous one. I must say that this reward, the Razor Wind Blade, most absolute garbage because it's a mono air. Mono airs are okay, but I just want to say that it's only a good to fuse it away. Uh, it's definitely not worth going for unless you go for the full amount or just go for the air fusion boost armors. That's also a good way to go for that. Gonna be moving on to the next event this time around. We have Champendons. We already talked about the Celestial Dragons. Um, yeah, that's actually something I actually want to be bringing out. Now, Celestial Dragons, you guys have been asking me a lot of questions if I already know what the, what the, what the rewards are gonna be. I have absolutely got no idea. I cannot even guess. It might be a cape, it might be keys, it might be an epic. I literally have no idea about it whatsoever. It might be a new epic or a new legendary thing that would be really cool, but they probably won't be doing that. But the only thing that I really can say is all of these bosses are going to be down for me. Level 43, that's what I'm going to be aiming for. That's what I'll bring out to you guys. And we're going to see what the reward is and bring you guys some great episodes and great content tonight to Dragon. So thank you guys so much. For your interest and greed thank you so much for bringing out an amazing event once again i'm definitely gonna keep my eyes on the stars on the 15th of july gonna be moving on to the last event this time around we already spoken about him and he's really creepy it is hustler we got attacking with haste and that is exactly what i've been doing right now level 36 yeah I've been going full on with this boss and I really expect to have it down to level 43 like by tomorrow or something like that because I really want to try out these armors. I haven't even started crafting this one yet. Wow, reversal. Wow. I think I haven't. Oh, I have. Okay, 18 hours before it's done. Okay, that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be cool. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I also need to get started on farming. Oh, yeah. I need to... F don't forget about that. Anyway, Huster. Creepiest epic boss I have probably have seen. Wearing tentacles in the back of, of, of the on the back, I suppose. I like that chain of the book, and it looks really creepy. I already mentioned it before. Um, I still can't get over the fact that the nemesis, Hastur's nemesis, looks so much like the Forge Stone Ages, uh, Aegis, and you guys also said it as well. Uh, sort of a ripoff. I'm happy that it was the nemesis that is being ripped off. You know, it's it's very good that the legendaries aren't being ripped off at all anymore. Vestia of Hastur. Other question of the video is gonna be: Are you gonna be using the Vestia of Hastur, the plus version of the armor? If you cannot use the plus version, or if you cannot get to level 43, will you be using the regular version of the armor? Very curious to see what you guys have to say i have to tell you guys this is like the the brother of the juridic blade mill as i already said it has like 100 stats less in attack and defense but makes for a very good armor in your lineup that's something that i really want to bring out to you guys other than that don't you just think that this armor looks really badass i mean just look at it soak it all in looks really great what i gotta tell you guys so 
I'm going to be bringing you guys an episode very shortly, downing it to level 43. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. It's actually going to be really great. And uh, that being said, we are through our events, basically. I'm rushing through everything so fast lately. But that's okay, you know. It's a news flash. So flashes should be fast. Anyway, as always, make sure to also express your thoughts and your opinions about these events with everyone else in the comment section down below. I'm very curious to know your thoughts and your opinions about the Celestial Dragons. It's going to be really easy and, of course, answer the comment question of the day so if you happen to have a question for me by the end of this episode make sure to ask them on asl.fm4 slash reversal kd if you are by any chance interested to see more from me on knights and dragons you can always follow me on instagram and twitter i'm very active on there or you can just hit the like button on my official facebook page the links will be provided in the video description also, in other news to tell you guys about tip time with reversal, you guys have been sending me a lot of questions that is related towards my opinions about specific armors and everything. But uh, what I really wanted to do with this series is to bring it as a tip time, so that way I can help out other people it's about, like, let's say, defeating the epic boss 43 times or stuff that you guys want to know. So make sure to use hashtag ask reversal on Twitter or Instagram, or you can just do it in the comment section down below. Kind of changed it up a little bit, but make sure to do that i still don't haven't received any questions so that's why there's no episode yet so that's gonna be it i want to thank you guys so much for watching as always make sure that if you guys like this video to boom, give it a thumbs up and as well i would like to thank you guys so much for tuning in for this week's knights and dragons news flash my name is reverso bringing you your weekly knights and dragons news signing off and i'll see you guys in the next one